Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about fish oil, in particular EPA today. So fish oil, omega-3s are DHA and EPA. They may have some different functions. Uh, we do know that people who have a diet rich in fish tend to have lower heart disease, Scandinavian countries in particular, Asian countries as well, and have been looking for an association between fish oil and decreased heart disease, and some of the studies have fallen in short. Uh, that said, they've done some what are called meta-analysis studies where they take a bunch of different studies and try and put them together into one summary study and these have some potential flaws because the studies are put together differently and have different outcomes. Uh, in most of these studies, the average intake of omega-3 was about 1.57 grams, so a little under two fish oil capsules and it may be that we need to take more fish oil to be beneficial for the heart. Uh, we did not specifically Specifically, look at DHA and EPA. Uh, we do know that uh, Lovaza, a fish oil which is higher in DHA, um, can as a side effect of it cause an increase in your LDL bad cholesterol. Uh, we, we're not sure if this actually is an issue or if it is the less dangerous type of LDL, but this has always been a criticism of fish oil, uh, in particular this Lovaza. Uh, there's a new uh, prescription uh, fish oil um, that uh, actually is high in EPA and it's almost uh, purely EPA and it's called Vasquipa, V-A-S-E-P-A and I'm assuming that's short for vascular EPA and they did two very interesting trials, one called the Marine Trial and the other called the Anchor Trial and both of these studies uh, had pretty good results and they showed a statistical decrease in the incidence of heart disease. So for right now, I'm going to stick to my guns and say that heart disease is prevented or at least reduced by taking fish oil. Um, it may be that EPA is more important than DHA. Uh, to my knowledge, the majority of the fish oils you buy have a mix of DHA and EPA, and you cannot go out and buy specifically EPA fish oil. Uh, this uh, synthetic-derived uh, EPA, Vasquipa, V-A-S-E-P-A, is high in EPA omega-3s and has shown some very good information that it uh, decreases your heart disease risk and it actually lowers and does not raise your uh, LDL bad cholesterol which may be a potential second benefit. Um, it does not have an indication for heart disease reduction either primary prevention so to prevent your first heart attack or uh, secondary prevention to prevent heart disease if you've already had a heart attack. Uh, it is indicated for people with high triglyceride levels as it's specific FDA indication. Uh, Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.